bones build for a video. Built the bones build now it starts. Hi guys and welcome to a very special bonus build. Today we're going to look at three different bases: NMSW, the Maze, and the Mecha Duplo. Let's get it started. So we'll start off here with NMSW, which of course is No Man's Sky Wrestling. It started with an idea to create an arena for players to come and to get out and sort out their problems like men. But it didn't really work the way I wanted to. I planned on making a Thunderdome, but due to the infrastructure constraints and build constraints, it wasn't really feasible. So I opted instead to build a wrestling arena, and that's what we're going to take a look at now. From the outside, it's pretty plain. It just looks like a little upside down pyramid, and that's the same method from the pyramid bases, except it's hollow on the inside, and it has a wrestling ring in it. And I just love the look of inside this structure. It has about 200 seats, a lot of space, the regulation ring, a lot of lighting, and it's built mostly from infrastructure and decoration. It was just a lot of fun to build. I went for the classic WWF back in the day style ring, and I think it worked out great. I'll just turn around here, and we've got the announce tables and the entrance ramp. And I just wanted to go simple but atmospheric, something that everyone who watched it wrestling in the 80s and early 90s would recognise. The ring itself was the turnbuckles and ropes. And the light and brace above, which I thought was pretty impressive looking, albeit a little tricky to do. You see the announce tables here and some gear and some more lighting. Just to give that authentic feel to a wrestling stadium. And I think it worked. You could of course build this too. All of the bases you'll see in today's special are built on PlayStation 4 in creative mode. And we'll also leave the addresses to each base up as you can come and visit them. If you feel like having a little fight with somebody. So this has been NMSW. Before we put the address up, I'll just say it was fun. I'm definitely going to try another arena. And if you do make one yourself, of course, let me know. My information information will be up at the end of the video. So I'll do it for NMSW. It's just so nice looking. I love it. And of course, you want to find the stadium, you just go to this portal address. The base is located literally 40 seconds from the portal. Next up, we have the maze, which is a playable hedge maze in No Man's Sky. And it was a lot trickier than the wrestling arena. It is 100% playable. It is designed like an old hedge maze. And I wanted to go for a kind of crossword puzzle look to it. It consists completely of infrastructure and about six lights all together. And it took about three hours to build and was definitely one of our trickiest builds. But some people have shown up on planet already and given it a go and had a lot of fun, so it was worth it. It is of course a big build. It came to 99% build limit. Uh, that's why we took out a couple of spaces in the middle, just to give the build limit back and put some lights and decoration or what have you in there. And it's a lot of fun. I myself got lost in it a couple of times. And I built the thing. So of course you can come to this planet and have a go in the maze. And of course the base is the closest base to the portal again. And we have some combos here of the players who have shown up and give it a go already. Which is always nice to see. It just makes the universe seem a little less lonely. And yeah, pretty impressive build again. And a lot of fun as I said. We'll put the address up now if you want to visit. But that'll just about do it for the maze. If you do manage to make it to the end of the maze, send me a screenshot to my information and you'll win a prize. And if you want to find out where it is, just go to this location right here. Again, it's just a couple of minutes from the portal. And on to the lady herself, Big Sue's, the Mecha Diplo. User Kingpin on Reddit put up a picture of a planet that had some great luck on Diplosaurus's 
and a few people took advantage of it and went. I myself went to the planet and got inspired. You may remember from some of our previous build videos, if you've been watching, we've built other mecha creatures before, such as the mecha kraken, um, the mecha scorpion. And we were always planning on building a Mecha Diplo, and this was the perfect planet I thought for it. She's comprised mostly of infrastructure and lights, well, completely of infrastructure and lights. And she took about an hour to build, an hour and ten minutes, just for food to remove the lights and that. It was a pretty simple build, considering how difficult the last mechs were. It was just a straight up build, and build out from one straight column. And it was a lot of fun, I think she looks great. We were inspired, of course, by the Diplosaurus in No Man's Sky and also by the Tallnecks in Horizon Zero Dawn. That's where we went with all the luminous braiding and the lighting and stuff, just to give it a more futuristic look and feel. And I think it turned out lovely. I went for the colour scheme of green and greys, just so she would fit in with the surroundings. And the more I built her, the more connected I became to it. It's if it's when you're building an animate object in a game. But I felt like it just brought some life to her. And we added some pipe and lights and stuff here just to give it a more mechanical feel. So it doesn't just look like a big set of blocks. And I think it turned out quite nice. Especially in night time with the lights glowing. With the tail here. Which was one of the trickiest parts was the tail and I don't know why. And the body is pretty much hollow apart from the main central spine across the top. And again we added the braiding and the lights here just to give it a more futuristic feel. And we've got the flat skull plate at the top. Again inspired by the Diplos in game and on this planet. With the luminous braiding from Horizon Zero Dawn as well. And it's just a very looking, very impressive looking build and again it's only a few minutes away from the portal if you'd like to visit the address will be up at the end. If you have any questions, comments or queries in this video, feel free to help me up with my information. I want to ask you to like and subscribe because as always, it's done. But that'll just about do it for this special of bonus builds. Random builds will be back next Friday with another great build. Be sure to tune in and check it out. I've been Ray Reynolds. And thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great week. That'll just about do it. And of course, again, if you want to visit the Diplo herself, Big Sue's, the address is right here. It's only a couple of minutes away. So I'll just about do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I've been Ray. You've been great. Have a good one, folks. <laughs>